Southern California Edison is, you know, an Edison utility. That means they use large generators, which sends the power down to substations, which send, then send it down to local transformers, pole mounted, which then send it down each transformer to five or ten houses. Uh, a solar system, in for instance, this case, Mr. Naylor's, can detect when the voltage on the Edison system goes out of range. You're supposed to have 120, 240, and it's supposed to not vary more than 10%, not more than from 115 to 126. Uh, the grid tied inverter that Mr. Naylor has, when it detects the voltage out of range, uh, islands and shuts off the grid and shuts off the solar system because it has to do that because something's wrong with the voltage. Now, when Edison uh, has a problem, they sometimes jack up the voltage from the substation. So all these transformers in a string from the substation, you know, there's many of them, some of them in better shape than others. Now, what we detected here was that Mr. Naylor's transformer was in marginal condition. And you'll see the one across the street is beautiful. So by the, having a solar system and being uh, one of the 11 people on this old time antiquated transformer, we can detect the fact that when the voltage requirements on this transformer rose too strong, the transformer voltage dropped and the substation jacked up the voltage on the entire string. Now for the strong transformers, it didn't matter. But for the weak transformers, the voltage went out of range. It went up, uh, uh, up to as much as 130 degree, 30 volts. When it did that, that's when his system had gone offline, and that's how we detected the problem. Today, when we go and check it, as you'll see, uh, Edison has, uh, has solved the problem, and they, they kept the voltage down to 124. But there's no guarantee that this won't happen again. The only way to solve this problem is for Edison to replace the broken transformers. Okay, so off to check a solar system uh, at Mr. Naylor's house. And once again, you know, we don't have to fill this electric car up all the way. It's supposed to be okay. Right. okay. And it's going from 124.7 to 125. And you say that the uh, this now it's not it's not resetting, but before it must have been up above 126. It when you were here the other day, yeah. it was above 128, and then it went to 130. But then yesterday it was out also. We just didn't get readings. Right. Oh, I, this thing has a really good zoom, so oh, I can I can good. get a picture of it. Looks to me like that thing has uh, been overheated, though. It does, huh? Looks like that. That's that's what they look like when they burn out. You know, the one that we saw in the Hollywood Hills. You could actually see the signs. Yeah, it was just like the signs yeah, of it just that blowing over up. Yeah. To my mom's like that across the street. Yeah. But that one looks new. It looks different, huh? Looks newer. Yeah. This one looks weird. It's got these vents. Yeah. They look like vents on it. That one doesn't that look like it has the vents like that. Yeah. It so does look weird. Seeing this now. <laughs> <laughs> one of the other good things about a solar system that you don't realize is that you can detect a broken transformer. Every uh, time you go from a, this 20,000 volt line at the very top, they use a transformer to bring it down to normal household 120 and 240 current so that this transformer is what does it and you see this transformer is kind of weird and not only is the telephone pole weird but the transformer is the way we can detect there's something wrong with this transformer is because uh, Mr. Naylor has a solar system on his house